Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy Sideswipe. Now, as you guys know, this is my very first um, Siege War for Cybertron figure and um, I have two others. Um, I'll be taking a look at them later on. But, bit of a bit of a spoiler. I'm not going to go into detail, but um, we do have a Halloween special planned. Me and a couple of my friends, so that'll be coming out. I won't tell I won't tell you who they are, and I won't say what we're gonna be doing. So if you guys do enjoy, if you want to want to see that, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Um, if you want to see the Voyager or the Leader next, because I got a deluxe of Voyager and a Leader. So do you want to see a Voyager or do you want to see the Leader next? So hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get to the review. Okay, guys, here we are with the Transformer Siege. War for Cybertron Deluxe Class Sideswipe. Very first Siege figure of the channel, and I'm gonna be honest, this is already one of my favorites because I love this design and I love everything about him, which I'll get into the details on that pretty soon. So before we do that, we're gonna move the figure off to the side and we're gonna take a look at the packaging. So as you can see up here, we have Sideswipe, he's a Autobot. He is from Transformers Siege or for Cybertron Trilogy. There you go. AJJ Plus, Hasbro, Transformers, Generation. On this side of the box, we have Sideswipe again, and he is a deluxe class. Zop, Transformers War of Cybertron Trilogy, and the Autobot logo. On this side of the box, we have a very, very beautiful look of the entire thing. On the bottom, words, things, and the barcode. On the back of the box, you have Sideswipe in his robot mode, his vehicle mode, 16 steps, choose, battle, where weapons load up, my bad. Um, I'm not going to get any of the battle masters, and if I do, then okay. So there he is again, there's a bunch of other stuff, words, things. So, moving on to the actual figure of Sideswipe. This, this is actually very, very nice. It's a very cool looking side swipe and I absolutely love it. So getting into the details, as you can see we have his legs which are in very chrome silver looking pieces with red on the sides. You get some white legs and arms, chest looks incredible, you got the Autobot logo. Head sculpt is incredibly done. And I absolutely love that they, the way that they took with Sideswipe's head sculpt. It looks incredible. For accessories, you only get two with this figure, which I know this is only it only looks like one, but it's actually splittable, and you could also combine them to make this sort of large gun. And you can actually place them here, 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 or this tab can go into one of these slots up here. I always I always like to keep it G1 personally so I always just put it up there I don't know if it's in the right spot but hey it's fine uh, moving into articulation you have a very tight ball joint 360 degrees for the arm arm can move out bicep swivel bend at the elbow you for some reason you can't really go fully in but I mean it's kind of understandable to do the transformation uh, waist swivel you get a kick the leg can move back that far. You got a beautiful spread. You got a thigh swivel. You got a bend at the knee. You got you don't really got any up and down at the toe, but you do have a extreme pivot. You've got a crazy pivot. So posability on this figure is very, very nice. I really do like it. For comparison. Here he is with my previous review, the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Bumblebee. So you can see the difference in those two. You can see there. Here he is with 
the Voyager class Megatron. As you can see there, as you can see, Megatron towers over Sideswipe due to him being a Voyager class. Even though we should, we should be a leader class for goodness sake. And finally, here is Studio Series leader class Shockwave. So, there you are. Okay, good enough, good enough. So, turning to the transformation, you want to first pull, pull this weapon off, and we'll just put that off to the side, because I'm going to show you that later. So, what you want to do first is you want to come to this piece, fold up this all the way up, till it sort of, till it just like holds in place. Take this piece and fold it above the head. Take the arms, spread them all the way out. Fold in the hands as far as they'll go. Take these pieces, if you haven't already, and flip them out. Fold this in. Fold in the hand slash arm. Like that. And you should end up with this. This is how it should look. So let's turn our attention to the legs. You want to open up these bits. Turn the waist 180 degrees. I'm signing like Bolt Matrix, and I really don't like that. Uh, fold down these pieces or just fold in the feet. It'll work. Slot, bring the legs together. Fold it in like a Combiner Wars figure. And then you just want to bring these in. Bring these in. And there are these slots that will go into these tabs right here. For both sides. So, this is Sideswipe's incredibly good looking alt mode. I love this. I love this alt mode so much. Uh, getting to the details, you can see it's it's like a combination of like a Cybertronian mode and like a Lamborghini of some kind, and I love it. It's incredible. This is supposed to represent how he looked on Cybertron before he scanned his Earth mode. Or got scanned for him. That's how it was in G1, but I don't really know. I haven't seen that much of G1. So... Before we take a look at everything else, you can take the gun, and for some reason, tabs can now go into, um, peg holes. I, I never, I just figured that out a couple days ago when I got this figure. But, anyways, um, can plug this in wherever there's a plug area thing, so, there you go. So, turning to the details, you've got a nice red and black with a smidge of silver for the wheels, very cool color, love the choice of it. What's weird is that this is a sort of gold. I, I, I don't understand that. Is that supposed to represent like some sort of thing? Of course, you have the Autobot logo because this is just the figure's chest. So, it's cool. And back to comparison, here's Bumblebee. As you can see, he definitely lost some height. Definitely lost height for the alt mode. Here he is with Megatron. As you can see there. And finally, here he is with Shockwave. So, there we go. And, of course, we can split the two guns and have them be separate blasters. There we go. So, it's, it's something you can do. I honestly don't really care. It's your toy. It's whatever you want to do with it. It's, it's, it's still a toy. So, hope you guys enjoyed. This is the end of this video, so make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and comment down below. We're on the road to 110 subscribers. Um, so, hopefully we can get there. And, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and have a great day, guys, and I'll see you guys later.